Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Office Blow Daz. I'm Soph. I'm Office Blow Caden. I'm Gaynor. Okay. Has anyone, has anyone ever tried Texas barbecue? Never. Does anyone know what Texas barbecue is? It's marinated meat that's been steamed or grilled Smoked. for hours and hours. I'm thinking, I don't know. I mean, I guess it's just a barbecue in Texas is what I'm thinking of Texas barbecue is. You can't no. have Texas barbecue in Philippines, I don't think. No. So we, <laughs> what we class as a barbecue is when you're grilling, but they call a barbecue when they smoke the meat smoke for hours and hours right. and hours. Right, so that's the same. Is that style Texas barbecue, do you think? As opposed to just a barbecue in Texas? No, I think it's what a barbecue, but they're just doing it in Texas. <laughs> I think it's a style. <laughs> but you think it's marinated in some sort of like... I think it's a style of the way you smoke it. Texas or... barbecue sauce. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but anyway, this Delicious. is Brits try real <laughs> Texas barbecue for the first time. Let's go. How long have these been on? Well... Don't start at the beginning, so I'll start halfway through. Hi, I'm Josh. I'm Ollie. And today we're gonna try Texas barbecue. I'm excited for you, son. Me. <laughs> <laughs> Feels like Christmas morning. I and I bought you an N64. Right <laughs> You've been asking for it for months. Yeah. <laughs> These are the offset smokers. So what are we smoking in here? Brisket. Oh, oh wow. How long have these been on? 12. Josh took up what? barbecue a year ago, I think. He's been talking since he got that barbecue. I want to go to Texas. I and mean, look at him, he's literally taking selfies in front of the sign. He's so happy. <laughs> I've never seen you this happy. <laughs> I'm I've skipping. Never seen you this I'm happy. literally skipping. That wow. is ridiculous. Size of your head off. Yeah, I've got a whopper of a head. Significantly bigger than your head. I have, I have a head. huge head. Genuinely, that Amazing. has made my year. Thanks, Oscar. Thank you. Thank oh, you. Doing God's work. Doing God's work. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, Trini, I think they're going to try a little bit of everything. First and foremost is the beef rib. In the oh. barbecue world, we call that the Rolls Royce of barbecue. Wowzers. It is just gorgeous. Oh my, oh my goodness. Rolls Royce of barbecue. Look at that. That is huge. Yeah. And then we're going to try a little bit of the brisket here. This is the MPC. Try it right now. Oh. oh my god. It's like heaven melting yeah. in your mouth right that now. Is absurd. You gotta try a little turkey, man. Oh, this is turkey. Turkey. Yeah. That's the best turkey I've ever gonna say when I first saw that, I thought it was a loaf of bread. bread. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought it was bread. I thought they were gonna slice it and put yeah. it inside it. I was the show right about like the smoking it like that. We never over in over in the UK we would never smoke the uh, the meat. For as long as they do. No, like you see how like yeah. juicy it looks yeah, and stuff no. like that. It's a bit different, isn't it? It's actually not far from here. There's a uh, American school bus, and this is what they do. Correct. I remember seeing that. Is it somewhere like I want to say it's in Skelmersdale or it's, somewhere? It's, yeah, it's, I think it's Burnley or Burnley that, that way. sort of yeah. way. Burnley. But, they, but they brought over a uh, traditional American school bus, mm. and they've made it into a, a barbecue. I have seen it on like uh, one of them shows, like Four in a Bed or whatever it's called, where they do they go around like different restaurants, and I think. Dave and uh, Raj, was, was it yeah. on Dave and Raj's one yeah, that they did? Was, yeah, yeah. Two, two of our friends were on one of, one of the TV, a cooking show, and you have to go around to other people's restaurants and try the food, and then at the end of it, you rate whose was the best. Mm. And uh, Dave and Raj went on, you know Dave? Um, brew Chimp Dave yeah, yeah. and Raj. Yeah. yeah. They went on it and they're there for their Brew Chimp uh, bar. Oh, really? And restaurant, yeah. Indian. Yeah. They went? Indian. They were Indian. Okay, they were Indian food. Really? Aww. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's like Kevin melting yeah. in your mouth right yeah. now. Yeah. It's, uh, you gotta try a little turkey, man. Oh, this is turkey. Turkey. Yeah. That's the best turkey I've ever had. It is. Really? The best turkey. I love how enthusiastic all your employees <laughs> here are. How am I gonna fit this into this torso? My daughter, she decided she'll put down a beef rib, three pork ribs, and a pint of mac. How old is your daughter? 14. Okay. <laughs> Wow. Oh my god. Wow. I feel like I'm carrying a 14 year old child. Okay. This is so heavy. I want to see Adam's reaction when he sees all this. So, Ads, these are the sides. <laughs> and this is the meat. Oh, careful. You almost fell over. What on earth? I'm so hungry now. Where do we start? Like, what on earth? Let's start with the brisket. Gotta oh, be proper hungry. So I'm my god. It's like that almost about to rip, but it okay. won't. You can see the bark around the edges. It's soft, heavy. This is crazy. Look at that. It's melting off it, look. Oh. Mm. Mm. Oh 
Oh my goodness me. Wow. <laughs> Holy crap. I'm not going to be able to film this. Like, I, don't, I, I can't, I have nothing to say. I almost want to cry. That's so good. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. The bark on that is so full of flavor. The bark? They're like, the kind of crispy layer oh, around like a, the Like edge. a tree bark. You see how it's yeah, blackened around the edge mm. because it's absorbed so much smoke. They're so full of flavor. The meat on the inside is so soft. Yeah. Okay, you guys need to try this. You, you have to taste this. Try that. The bark around the edge, the softness of the meat. <laughs> what? How is it so soft and so meaty it's, and like... It's so geez. much flavour. I think that's the thing with slow cooking is it retains all of the moisture. So it's so juicy. Like it's, it's so oozing juicy. with juice. Ducky, Ducky, that's for you, my friend. Oh, oh, that's a big bite. That is a big bite. <laughs> <laughs> He's so happy. This may be the best barbecue we ever eat in our lives. Well, not with that attitude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm genuinely lost for words. I'm speechless. How could a 14... Is that Shiner Bock he's drinking there on the right? I don't know, it doesn't say the name of it, does it? I love Shiner Bock. You do? That's that beer he used to drink in Texas. That's like the name a, of it. So I, don't I, don't know. I guess in Shiner Bock, I guess it's a local Texas brew, right? I've no idea. I've only ever had it in Texas, really. Is that the yeah. same drink, one in a bottle, one in a can? No, I can't see what it says on his can, but that bottle looks like a bottle of Shiner Bock. Let us know in the comments. Mm -hmm. Unless we get a close-up before that. Yeah. Your old girl eat a whole <laughs> plate of that. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Let's keep okay, going. Let's I want to try some other Beef rib. Stuff. Beef rib. What <laughs> is that? It's the Rolls Royce of barbecue, apparently. It looks like something out of the Flintstones. Yeah, yeah well, I think they literally nicknamed this cut a dino rib. Because nice. look how big it is. Wow. Look at the size of it. Oh, my God. Oh, you've got the end. Look at the other side. You've got the end of the rat. Look at the bark on that. This is absolutely ridiculous. They often say, you know, meat on the bone is the best because it gets the most flavour. Okay. This is literally, this is basically like brisket on a bone. Okay. Cheers. <laughs> Mm. Does look good, that. Yeah. Mm. Yabba dabba do. That is incredible. No. That. No. I don't think I could at all. Oh, I could eat that. Big time. <coughs> where, 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 there's nowhere better, right, to go somewhere than when you've got meat like that on a bone and you just pick it up and go in for it. Not nope. for me. Like proper, like, uh, old school, you know, uh, I'm not actually a fan of smoked meat. No, I remember when I bought I bought a smoker. Remember for yeah. the what's I used to get them little wood chips and I used to smoke yeah. all. You she said stop smoking everything. I'm like, well, that's how you cook it. I'm reading. Does it just like, taste burnt? No, no, it it, ta it no, just tastes it just, like smoke. You know, stuff, yeah. like you know when you go to a bonfire and you close a stink of smoke. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, that's, that's the meat. It's nice. kind of a smoked. <laughs> no. mm. But it's um yeah we had that barbecue where it come with the smoker and I used to smoke everything first. Yeah. For ages. <laughs> Even like when I buy bacon, and if it's smoked bacon, I can't buy it because I don't yeah. like it. Mm. Mm. But that's just anywhere you can go like, and you just have a beer and a big chunk of meat in your hand like, and just... <laughs> right? <laughs> Come on. No, that's not funny. That's not funny. What do you mean? Did I, I mean... No, offend the no, meat no, gods? No, no, not, not your okay. joke. I mean the, the meat. Like, that's not... My, my joke also wasn't funny. That, <laughs> that can't be that good. I think it's better than the brisket. Oh, this is, it, it, it's fattier, which basically means more flavor. The bark is somehow a little bit crispier and the meat is somehow a little bit softer. If I press this, like, can you see how juicy it is? Can you see that? Uh, well, it's dripping juice. Okay, I'm going in for another bite. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm gonna start crying. What? I'm just bracing myself right now what? for the number of conversations I'm going to have to endure with you telling people about this experience. <laughs> for the rest of our life. One of the best mouthfuls of food I've ever had. Is it the best? I can't think of anything better. I think I am sharing the best meal I've ever had with Josh. Our wives are gonna be furious. Oh, Gabby, I feel so bad. I, I need to I bring do her not back feel here. Bad. I knew you first. Make sure. I deserve this. <laughs> Just, just take an enormous bite. Biggest bite you can. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Do you see what I mean? 
It's softer. It's oh my gosh. And yet, the way he ate that, it looked like an alligator eating a bird. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Folding into its mouth. So flavorsome, so juicy. You don't need any sauce or anything. Oh, you would almost be criminal to put a sauce on that, Ducky. Try that. I know. The world's most carnivorous duck over there. <laughs> <laughs> Up the bread. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we can split this okay. up, chuck it. <laughs> <laughs> we peaked. How are we going to get better than this? I mean, we're barely a quarter of the way through, and already I genuinely think this is maybe the best meal of my life. Wow. Like, in all seriousness. Commiserations, Gabby. You tried. But at the end of the day, I won. <laughs> Port rib. Port rib. This, I'm, I'm, I'm so stunned. Oh, look at the jiggle on that. Look, look at the at jiggle the on that. Jiggle on that. Smoke okay. ring looks beautiful. Yeah. I can't believe it. Mm -hmm. Ooh. I've got to admit, pork ribs are better than beef ribs. Yeah, they are. In my opinion. That. So the, the, that's pork. They're pork ribs. Oh, aren't they? Quick story. You know what story I'm going to yeah, talk yeah. about here. I used to work with a Muslim guy um, when we lived in the USA. And he said to me one day, do you want to come to this restaurant I know down the road? Mm. So I said, where is it? And he went, it's called Tiffany's. And people know it. it's on Route 22 in like a hillside area. So I think he said, yeah, I'll come. I said, I go there all the time. <laughs> I don't know, I was quite regular there. So mm. we go in and he's like, you know, it's one of them here, Darren. <laughs> yeah, sit down yeah, yeah. sort of thing. And he's like, oh. Comes in, he says, uh, you got to try the ribs in here. So I'm like, the ribs? He's like, order me the ribs. <laughs> so he's ordering ribs. And I sat there and I'm like, this is before I really knew the Muslim culture that much. And I went, I thought Muslims couldn't eat pork. He went, no, never. No pork, ever. I went, the ribs are pork, mate. And he's telling me, in between us, he was telling me that these are the best pork, these are the best ribs he's ever had in his life. Yeah. So I said, no, the pork, I'm sure. So he said, no, the beef. So I called the waitress over and I said, the, the ribs here, what are they, beef or pork? She went, pork. And he went, ah! <laughs> I swear to God, not over exaggerating, he's going, ah! And he's really? like this. And I went, they've not, they've not even come yet. He just, and he went, cancel it, cancel it. He went, bring me a Long Island iced tea. And I went, I'm not going to tell him. And I went, I'll call him. No, I'll call him. He gets it. And he's like, nah, again. I'm like, what? Is that actually true? True story. Yeah. Long Island iced tea has got the most alcohol yeah. in it. Yeah. 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 He thought it was iced tea. Because he saw iced tea. He thought he was having iced tea, but from Long Island. Yeah. I said, mate, he's like 14 shots of alcohol in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Anyway, that's all we'll get, anything. <laughs> what? Mm. Oh my god. Oh it's so god. sweet. It's like it's been soaked in water. It's, it's like, so moist. It's so juicy. It's like pork candy. It doesn't sound good, but it is unbelievable. This is ridiculous. <laughs> that's impressive, that I mean, though. it is truly offensive, isn't it? Mind boggling. That we grew up having English barbecue, <laughs> that it shared the same name. You basically cremate a burger, <laughs> right? And put it in bread. <laughs> All right, let's get some sausage. This is a classic UK barbecue staple mm -hmm. sausage. However, obviously, we buy cheap sausages from Tesco, mm -hmm. and they don't really look anything like this. Let's give it a go. Oh my gosh. Well, England, we're quite proud of our sausages. You know, we do great sausage and mash. It is a great. That, that, that's, that's another league. This is almost insulting. There's a little bit of cheese and jalapeno in there. Can you oh. see that? Oh, oh. oh. Good. Right, that's, that's like a whole burger in a sausage. That's incredible. That is incredible. Wow. Both of you guys, you and Adam, need to try that beef sausage right there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> We've just taken it to another level. I'm what? embarrassed that we haven't brought this. Yeah, like What's our country doing? Seriously. Well, I love that that's Shows how good it is. meat after yeah. the brisket after Yeah, the yeah. They They're making sausage with it. Sausage. But the flavours, like, everything is so thought out. It's just perfect. It's making me angry. Smoked turkey. Wow, that, that feels very soft. OK, no, no, I should say I'm sceptical about this, Josh. Very sceptical. Of course, scared. I mean, everything else we've tried has been turkey. so full of flavour. This looks get... like the most bland Did thing ever. you ever have slices of turkey like this? Yeah, in Tesco's. They sell those. It's just not going to be good, is it? Well, right, let's see. Slow smoked. Oh, wow. OK. Wow. It's a different, a completely different animal. I Literally. Think, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're playing a different game. Nowhere near the flavour or the richness as everything we've tried so far. I mean, definitely the most flavoursome turkey I've ever had. Oh. Funnily enough, I think I might crave that. Do you imagine that? Like a... What's the best turkey you've ever had, Gay? Probably one of John's house. Tried one. 
we went for Thanksgiving at a, like a proper John's the proper redneck sort of style yeah. and he sort of thing and then he like you know big was this in Texas no this no, was, was in, in New Jersey in New Jersey big back big backyard and we're all playing football there then all of a sudden John comes out so I think didn't play football so I think comes out and he's like all right and he's got this massive like big pot drum like a drum yeah like mm. a big steel drum and it's just full of like uh, oil that he's got he's had on heat since the morning and he brings out the turkey it's all wrapped in some kind of like mechanical like hanging device and he just gets it and dunks it in the, the hot turkey in the turkey into the hot oil mm. and he just stands there holding it for a bit and he pulls it back out and he hangs it up and he puts it back in again a little bit later and then he hangs it back up again and he dips it back in I'm like what are you doing is that I'm frying the turkey and we had deep fried turkey but he'd sat there all day with syringes injecting it with like spices and garlic and all, all different things injecting the turkey and then he deep fried it Really? He kept dunking it in and out. Just kept all dunking it in and out. Oil. It was nice. Yeah. Delicious. It's the best thing you'll ever have. Yeah, <laughs> really. Yeah. I've never the heard of proper like redneck turkey. backyard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A big oil drum, be like just dunking his turkey in it. Yeah. But his, his arms were like his biceps were like this just from holding it up yeah, and down yeah, constantly. Yeah, it was like yeah. a workout. Yeah. <laughs> really. Class. Yeah. <laughs> A sandwich, turkey sandwich. Just for lunch. You could eat that every day. Every day. Twice a day. Yeah. The rest of it. I could do two or three times a week. I'm not sure whether I could do two or three times <laughs> a week. <laughs> and they said brisket is king. You and I both know from experience that Charles the Third is king at the moment. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> if you said to me, look, you've got to meet King Charles every yeah. single day. Yeah. Like he's going to be the main person you talk to. It will be overwhelming to my senses. Quite intense. Okay, Honestly, saying... I'm not sure my digestive tract could take the stress of it. You're saying the same thing the, about the brisket. The same applies to the brisket. Yeah. Could we try some cornbread? Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's really warm. Look at that. Oh, oh look how soft oh, and moist that, that is. Is that good? What the hell? Oh, okay. What? That is, it's like corn cake, like moist, delicious cake. It literally tastes like Victoria sponge. Oh, no, better than Victoria sponge. It's delicious. I mean, Victoria sponge is pretty good. That is amazing. The owner, Robert, he said that Patty Black, she makes these sides. This is her recipes. What the hell? If I lived anywhere near here, I'd just be here all the time. Mmm. This mac and cheese is incredible. I don't know what the hell that is, but it's amazing. Green corn is amazing. <laughs> Refried beans. No, there's chili with brisket. Brisket chili, wow. That's amazing. Mexican rice. Yeah. yeah, it's all bloody brilliant, isn't it? There is something so unpretentious about this though, right? We are literally on the side of a highway. I don't understand how they award Michelin stars, but I'm pretty confident that this place is never gonna get a Michelin star. I have no idea why. And yet you can buy a meal that is among the best meals you can buy in the world. This should have like 15 Michelin stars. I'm not sure that's how 20. it works. No, it's 25, definitely not. maybe 100. It's not just the more the merrier, like pile on. A Michelin belt. That's not. That's <laughs> not how it works. The undisputed Michelin champion of the world. Should we try some peach cobbler? Peach cobbler. Wow, there's like proper chunks of peach in there. Cheers, mate. Cheers. Mm. <laughs> wow. Holy crap. I don't want to get stuck in. Oh my god. I thought a cobbler was someone who makes shoes. Turns out they're very good at doing peach desserts yeah, as exactly. well. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Multi-talented. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah, I mean, of course it's amazing. Everything's been absolutely just out of the park. Mm. Okay, look, yeah, Michelin Man, if you're watching, know. come to Texas and give bloody Terry Black his 25 Michelin stars. Give him, you know, right? You're an idiot. Nothing we say can oversell how good this is. Well, we've tried. I think uh, we're still just underselling it. Thank you, Terry. See you, jolly soon. See you later. Yeah. <laughs> how, how, how am I going to be able to eat anything else again? Yeah, that's, uh, for me, that's... You've got to like meat to eat that. Yeah. yeah. I, I'm always one of them when I go to, like, Fogo de Chao and places yeah. like Poco de Chao, the other Brazilian places. Yeah. I'm, like, always, like, I don't I wait. I, I sit patiently and wait. And I'm thinking, I like the look of that sausage, but I'm like, nope, oh, I'm waiting for the good stuff first. Yeah. I'm going to fill up on the good stuff, and then I'm going to snack on the shit stuff afterwards. I'm going to wait for the sausages to come round at the end. Yeah. yeah, the sausage is what I finish on, but I want to start on the steak and the good stuff. But the thing is, I think I prefer like the, the sausage and rather than the big hunks of meat like that. Yeah, it's, uh, I, I mean that's that's something different when you're doing that. That's yeah. that's like a one up. Like you couldn't eat that every day, like you no. were saying. You're not going yeah. in there and having that massive dinosaur rib. No, you know, <laughs> it'll never be as good if you eat all the time as no. well. No. no, no, exactly. But that that would be like uh, that'd be something for good for us to try. We'll have to, we'll have to try and find that bus up yeah. here.
Yeah. Yeah. So I've wrote to one of the uh, American restaurants to see if we can come down and do some sort of like trying yeah. from American food. But I think the bus might be better because yeah. they do the barbecue, don't yeah, they? Yeah, they do. They've got the big bar- big smokers. Yeah. Yeah. So, so we'll go down that. and try that. Good that, though, won't yeah. it? Yeah. 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 Great channel. Love that channel. Brilliant. Hope you guys enjoyed it too. Don't forget like and subscribe. And also yes. get onto the second channel as well we've got, which is uh, Community Sports. Aiden and myself just do Sports Edition. Everything sports on Indeed. there. Over there. Office Bloke does Sports Edition. Should be in the link, right? Should be a copy yes. in the link. Should so be yeah. in the link below, yeah. yes. And we'll catch you guys on the next one. Yeah. Bye. Cheers. Bye.